In 1961, the United Nations sought to combine all their treaties controlling opium, coca, and their derivatives like morphine, heroin, and cocaine into a single convention on narcotic drugs. At the United States' insistence, cannabis was added to the convention, creating the first international prohibition against weed. Not only that, but it was to be classified as a Schedule IV drug, defined as particularly liable to abuse and to produce ill effects and with no substantial therapeutic advantages. Other articles added to the treaty made cannabis particularly difficult to remove from Schedule IV if any future attempts were made to do so. But just as Harry Anslinger thought he had put the final nail in the coffin for cannabis, a counterculture rebellion like nothing America had seen before was about to explode in the U.S. We'll tell you about that in a minute.